What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're getting ready to go into the summer season and I'm gonna show you how you can charge your AC. This will work on most cars. This will definitely help you out, save you some money, keep you from melting away in your car, especially if you're in Vegas. Let's just get right in. Here's the setup that I'm going to be using, vacuum pump and AC gauges. I'll provide links to everything I used in the video down below. Putting the gauges together is fairly self-explanatory. Just match the colors to the corresponding knobs. Sure, blue to blue, yellow to yellow in the middle, and red to red. Turn both valves clockwise and make sure they are in the off position. Do the same for both of the valves connected to the end of the hoses on both sides. Now that we have a sealed system, go ahead and attach the yellow hose to the top of the nipple on top of the vacuum pump. Make sure the connector is about finger tight. Do not over tighten. You don't want to go crazy on how tight you go. Now we're going to hook up our gauges. You can't get these backwards. See, this is the high pressure. This is the big one. And this is the low pressure right here. It's the smaller one. To connect, just lift up on the ring and press down firmly and release. Do the same thing for the high pressure side. Lift up on the ring, press down and release. Open the valve all the way. Now open the high pressure side, the red knob, all the way also. Turn on the vacuum pump. That sound that good? It is important to note that I just recently changed the AC compressor on the BMW, so there is no charge or pressure in the system. Fully we'll turn both valves to the on position or counterclockwise. Make sure the oil is at the halfway mark in the viewfinder as shown. I'll let it run for 10 to 15 minutes so it pulls all the air out of the system. Go ahead and shut off both valves by turning in the clockwise position. And now I'm gonna shut off the pump. I'm gonna put the timer on for about 30 minutes and see if our gauge moves it all to make sure that we're holding vacuum. In about 30 minutes, see our gauge is the exact same spot. We don't have any leaks. We go over here, close our valve completely like this. Same thing for this one over here, close. Boom. Now, make sure these are both closed before you take off this hose right here. Boom, now we have a sealed vacuum. We got no air coming in. Now you're gonna need this special AC refrigerant adapter. I will leave a link at the bottom of the description. I purchased it on Amazon for about 10 bucks. Make sure the adapter is all the way open. You can tell by the needle being in farthest retracted position as shown here. Carefully thread the adapter onto the yellow connector and make sure that it is tight. Tight, not crazy tight, but pretty good. All right, now my car is gonna take 21 ounces of R134A. This doesn't have any of the other sealer or anything. It's all 134, so almost two cans completely. What we're gonna do is we're just going to Screw this bad boy on right here. Twist, boom, it's on. And now we're going to pierce the can. I felt the line tense up, so the can has been pierced. Bring it back just a little bit. You can tell when you pierce the can properly because it will become cold to the touch. Now, after that is done, you have to go up to the nipple, purge the air out of the system as shown. I didn't really get a lot of air out of the system on the first can. Now go ahead and start the car, turn the fan on the number one position, and put the AC 
on and all the way on cold on both of the dials. With the car running, go ahead and open the high pressure and low pressure valves by turning the knobs clockwise. It is very important at this stage to make sure the large red valve, the high pressure, is shut or in the closed position. Slowly open the large blue valve or low pressure side by turning counterclockwise. system should take about 20-25 minutes to fully charge. Pay attention to the low pressure side, the blue gauge. It should read between 40 and 50 usually for a full charge. Pay attention to the red gauge and make sure it doesn't go past the halfway mark. If your system is working properly, you'll be able to hear your AC compressor start kicking on when the pressure is right. All right, so we have about 20 to 30 over here. Gauge is moving. I can hear the air compressor turning on. Once our first can is completely empty, it's time to put on the second can. Make sure the adapter is closed by turning the knob clockwise until it stops. Close the low pressure side or blue knob by turning the knob clockwise. Now that you have a sealed system, go ahead and unscrew the first can off of the yellow hose. Screw the new can onto the adapter. Make sure the can is nice and firm. Then go ahead and twist the knob to pierce the new can. Make sure to perch the line of any air. I used a small bolt. Now slowly open the low pressure side or blue knob by turning counterclockwise going to use the majority of the second can. You can hear my, hear the AC compressor coming on. Now it's time to check the temperature coming out of the vents using a temperature gauge also purchased on Amazon. The gauge should read between 55 and 65 degrees when the system is fully charged. So here we go. Here's our gauges. So we're just going to do this and we're gonna close this gauge right here. Like this. And now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make sure this guy is closed all the way. Now that the adapter is closed all the way, just go ahead and unscrew the bottle and take it off of the yellow hose. After one more quick temperature check, now we're running at about 59 degrees. It's time to completely shut off the system. We're gonna close. Coupler over here. Now close the red coupler on the high pressure side. Now just shut the car off and pop off the couplers and you're done. If you follow the steps and did everything properly as followed, you now have air conditioning as long as you have a sealed system, your AC is working and you will keep yourself from melting this whole summer. Have yourself an amazing weekend. Thank you guys for watching once again and I will see you on the next video.